It's winter and icy cold out on the water here in the west of Scotland. David Stoddard Scott is inspecting the rotor blades at this new floating tidal energy power station. It's being tested here. He's checking the output. Stoddard Scott has been working on the project for two years. The arms on which the turbines are mounted can be easily raised. With this platform, we can swing a turbine up out of the water. We can inspect it. We can see if the blades are damaged, if the turbine needs cleaning. We can run tests on it. Um, and if completely necessary, we can change out a whole rotor. This is new cutting edge technology a floating tidal energy platform. The currents in the bay here are powerful and swift. Just what's needed to get those rotors spinning. A year earlier, Stoddard Scott and Niels Lange from the German company involved in the project came to see if this would be a suitable spot for a trial. When we were together investigating which would be a good demonstration site, we found this place here, uh, which is ideal to, uh, in, in terms of flow, in terms of accessibility, also for the, for the marine operations, but also for the operation of the platform later on. So this is a very good site. The currents are driven by tidal forces. Every day, huge volumes of water rush out to sea from the lock and then back in. Niels Lange asked local fishermen about the currents in the area and where they think the best spot for the turbines might be. There are other sites on the Scottish coast where currents are powerful, but not many of them are this accessible. It's just the, the flow of the tide coming through such a narrow channel. It builds up, so it builds up the strength when it's running into the sea or coming inward, you know. It's what speed? At what speed? Possibly up to 20, 22 knots, as far as I know, that the, a small boat or fishing boat or coaster does have difficulty going against the tide. The project office overlooks the bay. Planning a hydrokinetic power plant like this and getting it up and running, even for a trial phase, can't be done remotely. The floating platform is anchored with steel cables to the seabed. The power such a plant generates could be fed into the electricity grid on land. It could also be used off-grid to power about 300 households. In this project, the Scottish company Sustainable Marine Energy built the platform. German firm Shuttle Hydro made the turbines and rotors. Shuttle specializes in marine propulsion systems, including water jets like this. This old paddle steamer has been fitted out with just such jets. It's in service on the Rhine River here in Germany. It regularly passes by Shuttle headquarters. Shuttle was founded in 1921 and has been developing and manufacturing marine propulsion and steering systems ever since. It employs some 1,300 people worldwide. The Shuttle Hydro Unit, which Niels Lange runs, can build on the group's proprietary propeller technology. This new unit at the company develops systems to harvest hydrokinetic energy, a valuable renewable source. Here they were testing a generator for the project in Scotland to see if it's robust enough to function in the icy water for long periods of time. This is a unique opportunity for me personally and for the entire team. We're almost all engineers, so it's a joy to have the opportunity to develop a new product. But in addition, we're helping to create a new market. It's like it was with wind energy 25 years ago. Back in Connell, potential customers have arrived. First, they're shown the local sites, such as Dunstaffnich Castle. Then it's time to set off to inspect the platform. Niels Lange and David Stoddard Scott are pitching the technology. 
their companies want to install platforms in other parts of the globe. These men are from China. Jerome Ringo is from the United States. He heads Zoetic Global, a renewable energy project developer. And we're interested in this power plant because we recognize that hydrokinetic is the next best thing uh, to producing electricity, uh, especially in developing countries uh, where fossil fuels are not the best option. Uh, and because to fully utilize the available resources, the rivers uh, that are there, uh, this technology is a perfect fit for what we need in Africa to meet the electricity demand. The developers say the platform could replace diesel generators in many off-grid locations like remote areas of Southeast Asia. The one in Connell has already been sold and will soon be shipped off to the Philippines.